Chapter 10 Seed Planting For some time he sits with me and shows me that now it has been cleared and the weeds killed off, I am now able to plant seeds of the word of faith. But what does it say? The word you speak is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. Faith comes from listening and hearing. And this hearing comes through the word of God. Romans 10 He gives rain for your seed that you sow in the ground and bread of the increase of the earth and it is prosperous and plentiful. In that day your cattle feed in large pastures Isaiah 30 The seed is God's word. Luke 8 In front of me is this wonderful patch of ground with the rubbish gone. Nothing now to hold back the crop. And then I see it. He smiles. It's not just going to be this one patch. Not just this one field, is it? This is only the first. He smiles more. So when, when do I do the rest? Fortunately, I can't form any real mental picture of what lies ahead. You don't. Not until I show you, and we do it together. It's important that till then, you don't concern yourself with doing any more than I give you to do. I lie back and glow with a deeply ecstatic feeling. The picture that is forming in my mind is simple. Prepared ground, uncluttered, not tangled with junk and squatters scuttling around amongst it. Come to me, all of you who are weary and loaded down with burdens, and I will give you rest. Place my yoke on you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is pleasant and easy and my burden is light Matthew 11 Then, despite what he has just been instructing me, a very definite picture starts to grow in my mind's eye. Tomorrow, I try the sound of my plans on the master. I'll start clearing everything, as far as you can see.
those mounds there can fill in those wetlands over there? Yes, I'll get it perfectly smooth and clear. Clear all those trees. My mind is racing now. And once it's all ploughed, I can buy some fertiliser and spread it. They sell it up the road. Then... He is looking at me. Not speaking yet. He starts to go for a stroll. So I get up and walk silently beside him. Before long, he explains to me what I am already beginning to suspect. It's best for you if we leave the growth beside the ponds to protect them and it leaves a habitat for animals and they all have an important work to do. And all these trees, the plants and creatures are part of how this environment all works. I know you want it looking all nice straight away, but it'll be like painting cheap white paint over the top of everything and saying it looks nice. It's just that all my friends are going down to the depot and paying for their bag lots of fertiliser. I thought that was the best way. It needs to be done slowly, he continues. There are plenty of things turning into compost, and that's enough for now to provide the fertiliser. It takes longer, but you don't need those slick salesmen selling their fast-acting product. A picture of the book enters my mind. For just a moment. It may seem to work, but causes all sorts of problems and just can't be sustained enough for the way this place should be. I learn many things while walking with him. Your faith should not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. 1 Corinthians 2 Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Matthew 16 They will want to have their ears tickled and they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires and will turn away their ears from the truth and will turn aside to myths. 2 Timothy 4 